I don't even know if anything what's happening is the camera working no camera's not working that's awesome gonna unplug it and replug it back in is it magic it's magic and horribly color balanced so warm and, and welcoming let's fix that really quick Is it fixed? I think it's fixed. Okay. Uh, Knock, if you refresh the stream, that should be fixed. Thanks, though. Thanks for letting me know. I realized it after I went live and was just like, oh, what have I done? Okay, so. Uh, da -da -da -da, Z sketching. Super awesome. We were using it for the tree stream uh, last Tuesday. Let's just make a new document. We'll make it huge. Oh. So, Z sketching. So, to do uh, Z sketching, you just add a Z sphere, right? So, it's this up here Z sphere. Let me make sure you can see everything on stream. All right, cool. Then we uh, just drag one out, press T, and then you've got your controls of the Z sphere. And you'll know like you can drag out another one. And then if you're just using your your uh, WASD or WER to move and rotate and scale. So you can move these around and scale them. Then when you go back to draw, you can draw another one, and then you can move that. If you uh, if you're in draw mode and you click in between, you can move that stuff around. So you'll be doing a lot of switching around of this, these modes while you're uh, in this in this state. So the other thing to know is the the main thing we're going to be looking at is Z Sketch, which is right here, just on your right panel. If you go Edit Sketch, you'll get into this state where you essentially can like draw Z spheres onto a mesh that exists. Uh, you can do that and just kind of draw whatever whatever you're dreaming about if you hold shift you can smooth and it will blend you can blend between the oh geez blend between these shapes so you can get some really nice essentially if you're trying to create some pretty organic shapes this song got crazy and you can just kind of create whatever you're interested in creating shape wise uh, the other thing to know is if you use the alt key, you can erase spheres. You can see now you have like two points there. This will be a good way to illustrate what happens when you smooth. So if you draw between two points, you can see it, it's, it's contouring to the shape until it couldn't anymore, and then it bridges and then contours the shape again. Uh, that's just because you're using the sketch one brush. If you smooth, this is with all Z spheres or Z sketching. If you smooth, it'll it'll blend pretty nicely. You can average that out. It's pretty good. Um, if you use the move key while well, in this mode, you can move these around. So this is pretty handy. Uh, We'll undo some of these before the smoothing. So you can see that the conforming goes back as well as uh, these guys, these guys in the back. Uh, when you create your your unified or adaptive skin off of this, which is essentially dynameshing the shape, uh, you'll notice that there's some, what is it, some issues with uh, if you undo that or undo if you turn off the edit sketch you go back to this you go back to edit sketch you can see you can see what you've been working on um, when you go to unified skin here 
and you, oh, sorry, you need to make sure that you have ZSketch on as well. If you need to have multiple windows open, you just hold shift and then tap that. You can open two instead of that one collapsing when you open the other, see like that. Uh, if I turn ZSketch on, you see the preview button appears here. Hit preview. You can see what it's going to do with your mesh. This music's really loud for me. Uh, you can see what it's going to do with your mesh uh, that you've Z sketched. And then you can just turn that preview off and then just start going for it again, adding other shapes. Um, but you'll notice uh, when you do a preview that the the z-spheres that you added before z-sketching are not calculated into this. So you can't necessarily, you can't use the original spheres that you've drawn out. It's just the spheres that are uh, created during z-sketching state. So a good thing to do is to actually uh, delete these and just start your scene. Let's say, uh, let's do a new document, new document. Good practice is to just draw this out, press T, and then go straight into edit, edit sketch, and use this as your base. If you need uh, to make spheres like I had originally set up, uh, then that's when you start using uh, armature. An armature, whoa, sorry, edit sketch. Armature is same as these spheres and it's sketching itself out except for it doesn't conform to uh, wrap around a shape. So like, if I do this, hang on here, Let's see if I can't. So if I add these two, you remember how we were bridging between the two? Using uh, armature actually just bridges evenly. It doesn't try and conform to the surface. So this was actually really good for uh, when you're doing the initial blockouts. So think about it like um, if you're going to make a character out of clay, you're going to take the, the armature or the metal wiring and then place stuff on top of that, then place clay on that. So think of armature as that. You're, you're creating your, <laughs> you're creating your, your stick guy. Like that, right? So good. I tell you what, so good. Uh, and then you're using your sketching to, to draw on top of that. You've got like dynamic stuff going on. I don't know if you guys ever run into this where you're basically your your brush is uh, scaling accordingly. Pretty annoying sometimes. Anywho, so that's kind of the, the gist of how, how to use this stuff. It's got a giant arm. And uh, once you're done, oh, another thing to note is, so you're making a ton of spheres, right? And say you overlap a bunch. There's spheres inside of there that you're just not gonna see anymore. If you click this optimize button, it starts deleting spheres inside. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can see inside of the, no, I can't. But you can, uh, so if you mouse over the Z sphere tool, you can see how many Z spheres there are, there's 702. If I optimize that, there should be, no, I guess it's still using all of them because it sees, it can see all of them. I wonder if I can edit sketch and do this. So if those are all covered up, this is a test. I got uh, 854, 349. So it's, it's removing spheres that you don't necessarily see anymore. And yeah, now once you're done with this, you can uh, preview it, see what it's going to look like. You can even do like sculpting on it to test it out. And then when you're done, you just undo the preview. Uh, yes, discard. Uh, when you're done, 
you think it's good to go. It's a little bit destructive, right? Because you're about to convert it to a, a unified mesh. So you click this and it creates, so you get to keep this, this guy in case you need to make some adjustments. But then you get a, is it this one? Yeah, a skin Z-Sphere 2, which is it's basically skin underscore whatever the name of your tool is. And then you have your, your DynaMeshed version of it. And then you can start going to town on whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna do with it. Just lost my music, hang on here. But yeah, so hopefully that with my awesome like character skills, <laughs> you uh, you get a sense for what this actually what you can do with this tool. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should cover with it. Well, there's some weird uh, pinching stuff that can happen. Uh, let's go back to this, and we'll we'll sculpt like that and then we'll delete some of the inside there so you can get some issues where you start getting space inside let's uh let's make a mesh out of this oh it looks like it capped it let's see if i can't imitate the the problem i was experiencing this on the uh the tree that i'm i'm making right now Let's turn up the resolution a bit. Maybe that'll help us. So make unified skin. So did you turn that resolution up? It's going to take longer to calculate, right? This one. Okay, so you can see there's like, eh, it's still doing a pretty good job of capping it. Let's see if there's any problems. No, so usually uh, you can possibly get some openings or holes that are inside. And the best way I've, I've found to uh, fix those if you, press, uh, if you press B, I, N, it's the same as uh, getting the inflate brush. So B, I, and then N is right here. Inflate. You just inflate that area and then rerun your, um, re your DynaMesh on there. And this DynaMesh, of course, the DynaMesh Master is much better at uh, calculating your, your mesh. Just give it a sec here. Look how high res it is. And then you just smooth. So you can clean up those those problem areas. Anyway, cool. Now that we've made this horrible looking phallic looking thing, what's up, Jopi? We'll uh, we'll move on to actually working on the tree. Meow. <laughs>